Good morning, this is Terry Darty, and I'm at the Mom's Choice Awards Filming Studio at Book Expo 2012. And I'm joined this morning by Raina Diorio, multiple Mom's Choice Awards winning author for her What Does It Mean series. But today we're going to talk about your newest book, What Does It Mean to Be Safe? Yes. Inspiration. Ah, uh, the inspiration. The inspiration for this book, Terry, was that I wasn't feeling safe in my own life. So I wanted to do an exploration of what it meant to be safe for me. And what's most interesting about that is when children, students ask me about my inspiration and I tell them that, you know, they look stunned because I don't think children understand that adults have the same internal conditions that they experience as well. So for an adult to, to feel unsafe didn't resonate with them. So it's a real opportunity uh, for that discussion as well, that grown-ups have a lot of the same feelings that children do too. Well, you know, Within the series itself, what does it mean to be present? What does it mean to be global? Even with what does it mean to be safe? Those are really big concepts and they've got all kinds of dimensions to them. How, as an author, how difficult have you found it to sort of just simplify it in a way that is meaningful and resonates and yet still gets the message that you want to convey? Right, I think the, um, you know, the reason why this series has been so successful, Terry, is that we really do make it very accessible and tangible by giving real, Examples. So in this particular book, we talk about physical safety, because that's the obvious one. Right, that's right. what I was thinking of. But we also talk about social safety, and emotional safety, and cyber safety. And we even introduce the concept of political safety. And you know, we, we take those for granted sometimes. Um, but this really um, demonstrates through you know, uh, specific examples um, how, how those concepts are relevant to children, and how they can keep themselves safe. Political safety, I've never even heard the term. Tell me more. So, you, know, you wake up every morning and you get out of bed and you go on your way. You don't have to think about your, your, your government being unstable and that you might be harmed on the way to the bus stop. That's a very good point. You know, there are children in the world that have to worry about that. Um, so, to even have that kind of a discussion with a child that, you know, you are very blessed to live in the United States of America where you know, we have a stable government that protects us. Well, that's a wonderful idea because, you know, when most of us approach a book, we think about it in our own context. We don't really think about a global reach or a global perspective. So it's lovely that you're just bringing in that multicultural dimension for kids. Right, that's Broad really broadening cool. their construct. Absolutely. Is there a plan when you start an idea, you know, that one, if I had to have a sound bite when they walked away from this book, what would it be? I mean, right. how does that process work for you I as think, an author? I think the, um, the conclusion comes through the process of writing. So, you know, I, w I embarked on my own journey of figuring out what it meant to be safe, and then the conclusion presented itself by the end of the book. And for me, in this book, it is um, two takeaway messages in this book. One is to listen to your inner voice because your inner voice will guide you to safety. Yes. And if your inner voice is telling you that you're unsafe, then two, seek the help of a trustworthy adult. And for me, that's, and I, and I took my own advice. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You know? <laughs> now this is the fourth book in the series. Yes. What's next? We have global, we have presence, we have green. Now yeah. what's next? Yeah, it's a great question. And we've actually asked, um, our community to help us think about that. You know, the, some of the uh, the subject matter that have come to uh, to light are: what does it mean to be healthy? Uh, what oh. does it mean to be different? So it's still undetermined. I don't have a work in process, but there, I think there's another book in the series. Well, interesting that you talked about reaching out to the community. What kind of feedback are you getting on this and the other books in the series? Yeah, that's a good question. So. In particular, with SAFE, we've had some interesting alliances. So, for example, um, the Santa Monica Public Library asked me to come do a joint presentation with local law enforcement about, oh, about physical safety, which was, was really well received. Um, the other feedback that I'm getting from um, teachers in the classroom is that it, the book has afforded a wonderful opportunity to talk about um, bullying, and in particular, cyberbullying. Um, and also about appropriate boundaries, and you know, for for the younger students, you know, touching, and um, so it's really 
been a springboard for a lot of meaningful discussions. Now, you're ta when you, you mentioned the different audiences, what is your audience? Are you looking at kindergarten through first grade? Are you looking you know, up through elementary? Who, who's right. touched by the book? So, you know, as with all the books in this series, they were written for the five to eight year old um, audience, okay. but they really migrate beautifully upward for more meaningful discussions. So for example, um, I presented in a fourth grade classroom, you know, so 10 year olds yeah. um, about who, seem to, who know like mine know everything. Ex ex omniscience. When yeah. you're 10, you become omniscient. Um, we talked about cyberbullying. And you know the anecdotes were stunning, and just by sharing in that in that um, classroom was an amazing experience for for the students and for myself. That's excellent. Now while you're here at BBA, you're going to be doing a signing, but unlike a lot of the authors, you're going to do something a little more non-traditional and sign a poster. Can you tell us why? What the emphasis is? Yes. So we're making a statement, Tara. We believe that books are precious, they're valuable, they're expensive to produce. They have a whole team of, of authors and uh, illustrators and constituents that need remuneration for that work. And so instead of giving our books away, we're going to tease people with a poster to buy the book. And the posters, I will tell you, are printed on Terra Skin, which is a tree-free paper. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Now, do you take that same process with your books? We do. So um, all of our books are printed. Actually, there's a great summary in each of our books called an environmental benefit statement that um, is a precy of all of the savings that our process yields uh, in terms of environmental impact. So we use recycled paper and soy inks. We even use uh, recycled carton um, for our packaging. No plastic in our packaging. No dust jackets. That's just superfluous paper that children rip off. Yep. And we print in North America to reduce our carbon footprint. That is absolutely wonderful. Huh. Well, I'm so glad that you're joining us here in the studio. Thanks for stopping by. Well, thank you so much, as always. And Sharon. congratulations. Thank you.